So all that remains for me to do now is to introduce Holly Gifford, um, who is going to tell you about Route 1066, which we're all very excited about. Got a glass of wine now, sir. Yes. Thanks, Kate. Hi, everybody. Um, so yes, what am I bringing to the party? Uh, it's funny sitting here and listening to these these three presentations, which really does bring home what a huge strength of offer there is all year round. And so, and so, and, and with the Coastal Culture Trail also here all year round, what, have, what are we bringing to the party here? And I think all of this activity occasionally needs someone to stand up, wave a big flag, set off some fireworks, and use and abuse things like the 950th anniversary <laughs> of the Battle of Hastings. Um, we love an anniversary in this country. Um, there's always an anniversary to be celebrated. And obviously Hastings and 1066 Country, which of course encompasses all of Rother and a little corner of Wealdon, uh, will always be associated with the most famous date in English history. Um, and we wanted to, as I said, to, to use and abuse it really, to, to really build on the work that the Coastal Cultural Trail does, which is to continue to raise the profile of the area, to shine a real spotlight on the amazing amount of work that's available here for people who not only like arts and culture, but the whole experience of, of an amazing visit. Um, so the background really is that um, back in 2013, Hastings and Bexhill somewhat speculatively bid to be UK City of Culture. Um, and that bid wasn't successful, but what it did do, and as these things often do, is that it stimulated a lot of conversation and a lot of ideas. And I think off the back of that, Hastings felt, well, OK, we didn't get City of Culture, but we do have this unique hook. We have this anniversary. No one else has got it. How can we use it to do some of the aims and objectives that were discussed through the, the City of Culture conversation? So really, it was about that, that, dual, that dual aspect, building on the unique history of 1066, and also the, the vibrant contemporary art scene, which has been stimulated by the work that we've just been hearing about. Um, so the festival really aims, has, has a lot of aims, but they're fundamentally regeneration aims, and this comes very much back to what Stuart was saying. This is about the continued regeneration of Hastings, of 1066 country, and in fact of, of the wider area. And it is about facing in two directions. I think as Kate was saying, we do want to shout loudly externally to continue to build that profile, to work with some, some artists who will, who will gain that media attention and, and continue that story, but also to, to engage with and to mark the occasion with, with the people of the area. And so the kind of projects that we've done have, have had both of those aspects, because all good re regeneration has to start with the people in the place that you are, and it has to start with your, with your local community. So, um, as it says there, the idea uh, was that we didn't want to just look at what happened 950 years ago. We wanted to look at the impact that, that has had on the development of our culture and our country right up to the present day. So the idea that the Norman Conquest was the root of something rather than an end point um, in itself. Um, so we, Hastings Council um, have commissioned the project and uh, we got support from from Arts Council England and several other funders. And the idea is to put together a package that commissions new work and also works with lots of partners to get the extra value of bringing, bringing these, these different things together. So we'll have over 20 new projects, which, uh, which is a nightmare for marketing, so I can't show you any pictures of them because nothing's been made yet. <laughs> so uh, this, this goes across the art forms, um, from visual arts to exhibitions, um, to live performance, to uh, work with literature um, and, and <coughs> opera, and as I said before, working with participatory work, and also encompassing stuff which people are used to seeing in Hastings in September, like the Open Studios. Um, Hastings Open Studios and Open Events has on average 80 different events, and we wanted very much to, to make sure that was a very key part of the offer. Um, so it's mainly happening in September, and the reason for that was that October in Hastings is really busy. If any of you have been to the battle reenactment, the bonfire, Hastings <coughs> week, and we thought we wanted to complement the, the heritage offer that people know and love um, by 
just preceding it so that actually we really stretch out that season for people to come and do, um, do stuff down in the town. So this is just some of the projects that we're working with. Um, this is a guy called Chris Levine. Uh, Chris works with, with light and sound and he is going to literally shine a light on Hastings um, by setting up uh, an installation from the end of Hastings Pier. He's going to fire a laser to Normandy because we have to invite the Normans back to celebrate or to mark 1066. Um, and he's going to create a big light and sound installation across the whole seafront to open the festival. Um, and that was really aimed at being something open, accessible, um, outdoor, to really make the town look, to look, to make the town look its best. Uh, we're working with an amazing group called Well Works Theatre Company. They do site-specific performance. And, uh, and when they heard the brief, they wanted to get underneath what is actually a very, very contemporary issue, which is the idea of migration. Because, obviously, 1066 saw a huge influx of, of Europeans to this country. Um, and that, of course, is a very, very topical issue. So they're going to be exploring who we are and where have we come from in a site-specific installation up at Hastings <coughs> Castle. Um, I am a Norman is going to seek out contemporary Normans. We've, we're looking for surnames of, of, of people who came over with William the Conqueror. In fact, I found out for the first time that, my, that mine is one of them. Walter Giffard, apparently, was, a, was William the Conqueror's <coughs> standard bearer. Standard bearer. Um, and they're going to be photographed, these contemporary Normans, and shown in bus stops around Hastings. Um, and, the, and the last example I was going to show you is we're working with the British Artists Blacksmith Association, who are going to do a mass forging down on the stage outside the Jerwood, where blacksmiths from across the country um, are going to come down and make work that's going to contribute to a communal sculpture that will then be installed on Hastings seafront for the festival. So a real range of different kinds of activity. And we're working with key partners, um, and the Jerwood and the Delaware, and, and, and well on Stuart, we, we, we went for the same image. <laughs> um, it's really important not just to commission new projects, um, but also to really work with the key partners who make this place <coughs> special all year round. So the festival is really bookended by two major exhibitions, starting with the Jerwood and finishing with the Delaware, and that's really, really important to us. We desperately tried to find out if William had come to Eastbourne, but we couldn't quite make the history fit, but we're very, very keen to link up with, with the trail and, of course, see this as part of, as part of promoting the whole area. Um, so, as I said, it's mainly in September. The launch event is on the 10th of September. Um, so please do save the date. Everyone is welcome. There will be some activity in the run-up to build momentum and then, of course, the anniversary itself, which is in mid-October. Some events will be continuing there. And we do have um, events happening over in Normandy. Uh, people often say when you work on the coast that, that half of your audience is fish. Well, maybe half our audience is French. <laughs> and we're keen to start building more, more links with, um, with tourism agencies in, over in France. And the Battle of Hastings is the ideal way of doing that because obviously the French are... Well, actually, the, the French aren't interested in it at all, but the Normans are. And uh, there's a lot of work happening in Normandy around the, the anniversary, so it's a great opportunity to, to build those links and to encourage more visits um, from our neighbours over the, over the channel. We hope that by working with this range of partners, we all hit some very, some very good figures to bring people to the area. Um, we hope that over 80,000 people will come to projects and that over 4,500 will, will take part. Um, I was hoping to be able to show you the website today, um, but it launches next week. So do make a note of 1066 Contemporary. And that, in a way, gives a sense of what we're trying to do. What we're trying to say, 1066 will always be an important heritage moment. But this area that is associated so strongly with that history is, is an area for fantastic contemporary art. And we want to, going forward, link those two things together more strongly as one offer. And we're doing a lot of work with Visit 1066, which is the tourism platform that I'm sure many of you are, aware, are, are familiar with, to try and, 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 up, and up the game of how the arts and cultural offer of the area is promoted as part of that wider tourism. And the anniversary has been a really good way to, to kickstart some of those conversations. Um, so yes, do follow us on social media. Um, these are some of the people we're working with. I won't go into that. Um, and yes. As we've been saying, it's about better links, it's about better profile for the area, developing audiences locally and, and nationally. Um, how can you get involved? Uh, if you do social media, please 
join that conversation, hashtag Route 1066. Um, if you'd like to carry links, etc., to the festival website, then I can send you all the information. Um, equally, there'll be some great brochures and marketing materials if you're a visitor-facing business and want to help spread that word to, to your visitors, then, then please get in touch. We also have a sponsor package. I won't go into it now, but I do have um, information here if you actually want to get more involved in the festival as a sponsor. Um, and so, yes, please root for 1066 Country um, in 2016, and please come down in September, and uh, very much hope to see you.